geometry. This is going to be chapter one, section one. This is the mod the lab that we're going to do in class. So the first thing we want to do is these are our supplies we need. We need a pencil, we need a ruler, we need scissors, and two index cards. For this, we're going to model what uh, two intersecting planes look like. So we're trying to make some space. The first thing we want to do is take our first index card and we're going to label it with a Q. Okay, so our first index card, label it with a Q. And this is going to be a plane, so planes are capital scripted letters. So here's a Q. And then this one we are going to label as R, so this is plane R. Capital scripted letter for that one. So there's our two planes. Hold the two index cards together and cut a slit halfway through both index cards. So I want to go about halfway. just cut along my crease here to the center crease. Voila! I have succeeded in my cutting my two index cards. Hold the card so that the slits meet and insert one card into the slit of the other. Okay. No, oh, I didn't do that in front of the camera. So I took that and we put this in here. And now we have our three-dimensional space. Okay, I need tape. Let's tape my cards together. Square them up here and put some tape here. Square them up this way. Put some tape here. And there I have my three-dimensional space. Okay, where the two cards meet, models a line. So you can see right down this edge here, this index card, my Q and my R, let's put it the side out, my Q and my R meet up, and they meet up at this line right coming down the middle. So draw the line and label two points C and D on the line. I'm going to draw that line. I probably need a marker for that. There is my line. I want to put a point here and a point there. And my points, I said, were going to be points C and D. Notice those two points are on both planes. They are on point R, or plane R and they are on plane Q both. So there's a point C and D. I want to look at it this way so it's right side up. Okay, draw a point F on your model so that it lies in Q but not in R. So you want to be in Q but not in R. So I could just put it anywhere over here. Okay. That would be in Q but not on R. And I'm going to label that point F And then you say, can F lie on DC? So if F is on Q but not on R, is there any way it can get to be on DC? Well, the answer is no, because DC is on Q and R, and F's not allowed to be on R, so F can never be on line DC. Okay, so if point H lies in both Q and R, point H is on Q and R, so here's Q, here's R, on both would have to be right here. So I'm adding a point H right here. Okay. Where would it lie? Draw a point H on your model. Okay, so H found it. Draw and sketch of your model on paper, label it, and all the points, lines, and planes. So you want to grab a piece of scratch paper. And do your best to not butcher this. It's pretty hard to draw. So we need to draw this three-dimensional shape here, right? So we're going to have an index card that's kind of doing this. And then we have another index card, right? 
and it would be coming down this way. And then we have this line that went up the middle of it. And I did this backwards. I'm not so good with my three-dimensional drawings here. There we go. There, yeah, that looks a lot better. Okay, so then, let's make sure this is all cleaned up. This would be, this was my R. This was my Q. Here is my C, my D, my H, and off over here was F. Okay, and then we can k say that C, D, oops, C, D, is on R and Q. H, H is on um, Q and R also, and F is only on plane Thank you.